Today, we are going for a test drive in a 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning. Now this is a pretty upgraded model. So the salesperson, Jim, said that we have the upgraded infotainment system on the inside. I'm gonna do a quick walk around, then Jim's gonna come outside. He's gonna go for a test drive with us. Jim's gonna give us all the technical information on this F-150 Ford Lightning. I'm pretty excited. I haven't driven a truck in a while, and this is a full electric truck. Like, how incredible is that? So let's take a look around the exterior, then we'll hop into the interior. I like how with all these electric cars, you just all these grills are just massive and solid because they just don't need as much much airflow to cool down with the EV batteries. Do we have charging ports on both sides of the car or is that just a plaque? So that side looks like it's a plaque to match the other side. 360 cameras coming off the mirrors, lower running boards, aerodynamic wheels, blue lightning badge and the T is a lightning bolt. For the taillights looks like it's a nice strip that comes up around the whole top. We have rear view camera full power tailgate or just the gas shocks are helping lower it down i feel like there's something here what is this oh just an extra step up that's pretty cool or no step i'll have to ask jim what this is i mean i guess this is a short bed version of an f-150 of all these power adapters here if you need to run your house you can do that I like how slow that tailgate was to come down but very easy and light to lift up got comfort door access on all four doors got lots of room in the back here and look at very large panoramic glass sunroof Hopping up and in. I've got the driver's seat in this position and look at how much knee room we have. Two rear cup holders, rear heated seats, charging USB-C, USB ports, 12 volt converter, normal, lots of space here. Two rear cup holders and the armrest. Wow, plenty of space. All right, guys, this is Jim. Jim works here at Thorncrest uh, Ford. He's going to be our client advisor today. We're going to go for a test drive, and Jim is going to tell us everything we need to know about the F-150 Lightning. It's a pretty cool truck. I was already taking it around before you came out, and, man, I'm pretty cool. With the tailgate, I had a question. I love how when you open it, the gas shocks, it's fully electronic, and the gas shocks let down for you. What does this do? Yeah, press that. There's a built-in capability of a step to climb into the back. So just, truck. just like that. Wow, that's super convenient. And then I'm seeing a lot of uh, electric plugs on the side here. Correct. So you can basically use it as your own personal generator. So if your house power runs out, you got all the plugs here for everything you need. A couple of 20 amp uh, configurations and uh, 30 amp as well. So a total of 2.4 kilowatts. That's amazing. And there's even. Like rulers at the bed here. So if you had to measure out something and uh, cut something, that's something that's pretty well, pretty handy. So before you do that, you're going to press the little one here. It sort of gives you an indication. Oh, okay. There. You're good. One, one you two. two. They simplify it for you. Simplify it for you, and then this tucks away. Now there's an area as well for vice grips. So if you had to, wow, put something there. If you're on the job site or anything like Correct. that. And of course the little area here as well if you had to have your nails or uh, screws that it need to, to go as well it's really designed for the job site then yeah here's an interesting part what's that for Bottle opener <laughs> for the job site and tailgating <laughs> yeah. super light tailgate as well yeah. and you also have your backup camera that's there backup. and the distinctive lightning uh, fascia is in the back. Yeah, like how the tail lights come across the, the whole tailgate there. It's nice. Excellent. The running boards run aft further back of the uh, cabin, so that allows you to grab all and grab something on the back. Uh, it's very convenient. I'll hop up there into the bed. And then I, I believe that the, the Ford, they have a frunk, right? They have a frunk. They have a frunk. Right there. Click that button right there. 
full power front. That's amazing. Wow, this is a lot of space. Correct. And then a little bit just under here. With, uh, I guess that's a charging cable pack charging package cable in there. Charging cable is an extra as well, but on... Uh, 400 liters yes. and up to 400 pounds. Wow. I like how they just yeah. tell you right there. Correct. No There's need to guess or anything. Areas to hook up some bags and as well. Another, Another panel. Trucks got panels on both sides. Correct. And if the, there's a power outage and you want to be entrepreneurial on this uh, thing, you could always charge up people's cell phones. There you go. Start charging. Yeah, start charging the charger. <laughs> and is this whole thing right here a light bar? That's correct. Wow. So at nighttime, that's got an aggressive front end. Correct. You, you know when it, uh, in your rear view mirror you're uh, coming up, on, a lightning's coming up on you. So that's the. Uh, quite nice uh, feature and of course your 360 degree cameras you can point out uh, front camera and side cameras as well. charging flap is here Correct. is the other side open as well or just the this other side? side has been added to make it uh, look linear to uh, but the other side doesn't open it doesn't okay open. I, I touched it on the other side I'm like I don't I don't think this opens and I'm not gonna try and pry it open yeah, you're, you're, you're right on that so your level one level two charger and level three charger level three there. Yep. everything that you need excellent now well with the uh, batteries there is just like a low fuel gauge areas where you could have it uh, set at either 80 50 or uh, 30 kilometers before it runs out and okay you warnings uh, specifically to that well, it's nice how you can customize that depending on what uh, your habits are the interesting part as well um, so uh, the main thing about the f-150 is the fact that all aluminum body with a steel frame independent rear suspension really wow i had the opportunity of taking this through the performance course with the, the blessing of ford yeah and this thing handled like a dream that's amazing i'm excited to get behind the wheel let's uh say we get on the road sure let's do that He's gonna put the dealer plate on us. Don't forget, if you guys are in Toronto and you're interested in purchasing this Ford Lightning or any other Ford, reach out to Jim at Thorncrest Ford. I'm gonna leave his email in the description of this video. I'll leave it right here on the screen as well. So feel free to send me an email. Let me know that you guys watch my video and that you're interested in purchasing a Ford. Now hopping in the driver's seat, I like the interior of this one. What's the upgrade sound system in this? This is the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Bang & Olufsen sound system. That's incredible. I love the two-tone of the seats, the gray and the black put together. Oh. Push button starts right behind the steering wheel. Oh, we have a nice opening animation. The Ford built tough. I just love that. I like this shifter. It's like a normal, you know, truck shifter. I'm now, sure they could have had enough. It goes away. It goes away. Now, here's another interesting spark, uh, part. Wow. You want to have your lunch or you want to do something with your uh, laptop nice little table that is amazing that is like wow because usually you know getting mcdonald's or lunch or whatever on yeah. the job site you know where do you put your stuff you know drinks and everything like that is you know cumbersome everywhere just nice flat table even like laptop working station correct. if you need to uh, if you open up your laptop checkers or chess you could do that put a chess board here that's correct wow that let me tuck that away that's incredible and there's another storage compartment and more storage now it's lockable and the other factor, USB and USB-C is there as well as there. So tons of charging options, front, inside, the rear, no matter where you are, you're gonna be able to charge whatever you 12, need to charge. 12 volt adapter and power inverter. And a power inverter. Now, There's not a single place on this truck where you don't have stuff. Back in here as well. And in the back seats. Correct. And the seats in the back are on this particular model are heated as well. So everybody can charge no matter where they are. Back to home screen. Uh, there's our navigation. I, I must stress out there's uh, a little feature on this that some people might have in their own personal cars or they might not is high definition radio. Interesting. So, all your AM stations that it typically would be on here specifically. So, I'll give you an example. Let's say you, in the case of uh, us uh, Toronto folk, uh, we would li listen to um, our uh, favorite st station, let's say 590, the fan, there it is, um, in AM quality, I and you get the reception problems that sometimes happen when you're in downtown Toronto. Um, now, 
we go to FM, we dial up 92.5, enter that. Now, by activating one of two things, if we go one shot over, there's AM 590, wow. high quality CD quality sound. That's amazing. Program it in there. Favorite saves. Yep. Wow, that's amazing. I like the, I like that. That's amazing features to have. And then as far as outside the radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, do we have those on there as well? That's correct. So that's capability of that. Uh, so right Apple CarPlay, Android standard features wireless, or do we wireless. have to plug in for it? A wireless complete. That's amazing. And we have standard forward navigation as well. That's correct. I see the blue cruise fatigue alert sensors up here, as correct. well as for the active stop and go cruise control. Correct. I'm really loving the spacious interior, and I like the transmission shifter here. It's like a normal one. I mean, with electric cars, you know, not having that normal transmission, they could have just made it simple little buttons, but you have a spot to rest your hand kind of the normal feel not you know still feels like a normal truck nice large backup camera here as well letting us know where the vehicle is uh heading towards all right let's get on the road and go for a test drive obviously that's an alert you need to put the seatbelt on before we get on the actual road there now, a couple of little storage compartments that are hidden away and there's one right here oh excellent and there's one right and then here. your normal glove box and in here your wireless charger is right there and you can hide oh, it wow away. This one. there's so much storage even more storage here two cup holders i'm seeing storage down here storage in the door another level of storage in the door your trailer brake controller is right there built into this vehicle and your pro backup trailer assist as well that allows you to back up into your trailer using that dial as sort of like a joystick wow and allows you to uh, back into your trailer in a more precise manner than anything else that's incredible because that that's a big assist especially for I mean, people new to trailers and getting into it that is a huge assistance device i always have problems with backing up trailers <laughs> we've hidden the uh, little switch there to open up the back window oh beautiful so not only that, but we also have this massive panoramic glass sunroof. I think Ford is one of the only ones in the industry that has a pretty much there are some front to back. Kudos to them to, them to uh, do the same type of thing, but it gives you the open air feeling and you don't have that claustrophobic effect. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of research on some other brands like GMC and Chevy and their, their sunroof only is here. You know, yes. Ford's the only one that I've been able to find that's, that's the whole thing that I've seen so far. That's amazing. This seat is extremely comfortable as well. What uh, trim level is this vehicle? This is a Lariat trim level. Lariat trim level. So this allows you to uh, use the ability to either heat it or cool it. Well, let's definitely cool it in the August weather. <laughs> definitely don't want the heat, <laughs> heat it coming on, but heated and cooling is an excellent feature to have in the work truck. Correct. Oh, I can feel it already. It feels nice. Now with the F-150 Lightning, is there any battery variants, different options to get when you're purchasing the vehicle or are they all the same? Uh, two battery, uh, battery variances that allows you to get up to uh, 490 kilometers. Uh, the extended range battery will range, price range between fifteen to $16,000, but they, th they also include a little bit more equipment. Okay. With, with that configuration as well. So you get uh, more range and more equipment. Correct. On the entry level models, then you can keep it on the budget side and take advantage of the $5,000 government rebate, which is on the pro model and or on the XLT with the low range battery. Amazing. So about 380 kilometers out of that. So some of these vehicles do qualify for the rebate. Correct. That's an amazing option to have. Correct. Just recently announced and uh, you can certainly take advantage of that as well. Yeah, I definitely want to take advantage of that. Absolutely. Just get comfortable here with everything. I like the full digital gauge cluster here. Correct. And you can, and you can adjust it to, to what view you like to, to have. And this gives you the trip distance as well. The tire pressure. And of course, the tire pressure will also be on the Ford Pass app, which is also complimentary as well. So uh, this will give you an indication on even before you get into the vehicle, if there's any issues with your tires. Amazing. So a little warning on your cell phone there. The technology nowadays with the apps and everything is just an incredible feature to have. Correct. And your, and your uh, uh, 
driving range is also listed there. Yeah, on the, the left there, I like that. Lots of information. Looks like we have active stop and go cruise control Correct. on this unit Lane as keep well. Keep assist as well. Lane keep uh, assist. As well. Yes. All right. Now, like the uh, Mustang mach -E, does this have different modes as well? Or it just does, one? It does have the one pedal drive, but there's only one mode on this. Just one mode. It's a, it's a work truck, you know, you don't need sport mode and eco mode, just Correct. one mode gets you through. Correct. Look how smooth the acceleration is. Okay, so we have normal, sport, off-road, and tow haul. So there's a separate mode for when you're towing a trailer. Correct. And you can even do electronic locking differential. Yes. Wow. The lock up the differentials, obviously, if you uh, quote. Uh, if you're in a sticky situation, we made some mud or snow there. Yeah, that's right. You want to lock up both uh, rear wheels. And uh, if I can uh, quote uh, the movie, uh, My Cousin Vinny on the court scene, uh, we're talking about <laughs> I remember that <laughs> the one. locking differential. Uh, and explaining what that means, and uh, you could uh, understand uh, the ability to do that on command, as opposed to letting the computer take over. That's amazing. Well, let's uh, let's activate the one touch pedal. Actually, before I activate it, so we're accelerating now. I'm on the gas pedal, and now I'm letting go. We're just coasting. So you can see we're pretty much coasting. The speed's dropping a little bit. No braking added. But as soon as we touch one touch pedal, now the braking starts initializing for that regenerative braking. Takes a little bit to get used to that one touch pedal feel. You seem to be handling it quite well. <laughs> I might have a little bit of experience, but I know when I first started, it was uh, a little bit to get used to. It's very, uh, a very smooth ride though. I mean, I, that going over, you know, going over some of those bumps back there, that oh, independent yeah. rear suspension, just definitely uh, less, you know, wavy chassis roll compared to some other trucks. There's no chatter when you're going over a bump. Exactly. Right, where it feels like in some, some vehicles where the actual car is actually hopping and it's not doing that uh, in this uh, consideration. Seems like we've got a lot of safety systems on this. So we got blind stop monitoring, got the active stop and go cruise control. I imagine this also has pre-collision alerts and uh, some a lot of other safety systems. Can we customize those in any way? Uh, other than selecting it to when you're driving as to which uh, suits you best. Okay, but we have the driver assistance mode. We can kind of go through and engage and disengage which ones that we want to have on there. It's like auto hold brake feature. We can engage Activate, that. Correct. Okay. You also have a speed limit uh, assist feature where you could, uh, it will warn you if you're going a bit over and give you a tolerance level to if you're five kilometers over, it will give you an alert uh, on the dash. Amazing. Yeah, I can see the bottom right here. Speed limit 100. We're just under that right now. Okay, we are back at Thorncrest Ford having a little bit of battery issues there. So lost a little bit of footage, but you guys have a very good idea for the virtual test drive on the Lightning F-150. Don't forget to email Jim. Email is going to be in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing one. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. And on the next video, we're going to be doing the Ford Bronco, right? Correct. Well, let's go. All right. Someone's letting me know there's actually additional storage underneath the rear seats that I didn't even know. This is incredible. So this will fold and then a little button right there. Correct. Yeah. Wow. And then you get to it. There's a little loop there. Yep. Push that down. So you can just tuck things under right away. Correct. So you can either have things locked in Correct. or easy in and out. Correct. Incredible. So this lifts up. Boom. They it seems like Ford has maximized every single